Okay, it's round three. All right, time for the second half of Family Feud. All right, and I'm leading 153 to nothing. All right, the top four answers are on the board for this question, and here it is. Both families ready? Name something sold in the linen department. Uh. Okay, family number one. Bra. Uh, I don't know. All right, let's see what's on the board. No. Oh, no. Nice try, but no, sorry. Family number two, you give it a shot. What do you think it is, family number two? Tablecloths. I want to see that answer. Tablecloths is there. It's the third answer set by ten people. Player pass. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Play or pass? All right, then family number one will play. And once again, they've decided to pass. Uh, let's go with napkins. <clears throat> Another player. Okay. Got an answer for us? Name something sold in the linen department. Survey set? No. Oh well. Okay, uh it's not up there. Strike number. How about bed sheets? Oh. Next player, let's go. Sheets. Name something sold in the linen department. Oh. There we go. There we go. Bed sheets. There's a okay. sheets. Show me the answer. Sheets is there. It's the number one answer. Yes, indeed. Good answer, number one. Okay, uh, how about blankets? Name something sold in the linen department. Good answer, good answer. Is it up there? Nope. Strike number two. It's not there. Second strike. Oh. Next family. One more strike and you get a chance to steal. Next player. Let's go. Name something sold in the linen department. Uh, sweater? I don't know. I know this won't be up there, but I can't think of anything else. Good answer! Good answer! Is it up there? And I'm right. Sweater's not there. I thought it would be up there. Sorry. Okay, let's see what the computer family does here. Looking for something sold in the linen department. Name something sold in the linen department. Placemats. Okay. Show me the are placemats sold in the linen department? They are not, so I get 76 points. <clears throat> Good answer, but it wasn't in our top four. Give family number one 
second. And to finish the board. All right. The answers we didn't know, number two was towels and four was pillowcases. Let's check out how both families are doing after round three. Up to 229. Remember, families, it's anybody's game. The last round will decide. Yep. All right. This next round, the point values are tripled, but only one strike, so we have to be careful. In round four, points are tripled, but you only get one strike. And then the other family gets a chance to steal. Let's play. Two more players and we can get going. Let's do it. A hundred people. Sir. All right, we have the top five answers on the board, and our question is: You ready to do this? Name something women buy to make their hands look good. Ooh. Okay, I don't know. Time's up. Sorry. Okay, then. Let's try another survey. Yeah, let's try another one. I don't really know anything about that. About what women would buy. We surveyed 100 people. Top five answers are... Alright, there we go. Top five answers again. And here's our new question. You ready to do this? Name something personal of yours that you deliberately burn. Uh... Oh! Alright. Looks like the computer family has a guess, and they say notebooks. All right, show me that answer. Notebooks isn't there. Good guess, but no, sorry. Family number one, you try. Uh, paper? I don't know. Your answer, family number one. Or portfolio? to throw this one out too. Nice try, but sorry. Let's try another question. A hundred people survey. We got the top. Alright, top answers. four answers now. Everybody ready? Name a fruit flavored ice cream. Strawberry. Family number one. And strawberry is number one, said by 63 people. Good answer, number one. All right. Are you going to play or pass? We're going to play, Louie. Going to play? Let's go. All right, but only one strike. I'll say lemon. Another player, okay. Got an answer for us? Name a fruit flavored ice cream. Is it there? Let's see. No, lemon is not there. And we're over to the computer family. Oh, good answer, but sorry. The next family can steal. And if they're able to steal, then they could win. Okay, next family. Well, let's see what happens. We need another answer. But if they don't steal, then I win. Name a fruit flavored ice cream. Blueberry. 
Survey for the again. steal, a, po a possible win. Blueberry, it's not there. Good answer, but it wasn't in our top four. Yes, family number one gets the points. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see the three. remaining answers. Number two, what was in peach. Sugar? Number three, and last cherry. One. And number four, orange. That takes us to the end of this round. Let's check the scoreboard. All right. 418 and nothing. On we go to the fast money round to win $10,000. Family number one. Okay, time for fast money round. We'll give you five questions. You answer them. Put the time on the clock, please. But not only that, we're also going to convert the 418 points into cash. So $418 is the... So it's going to be $418 at minimum, but let's see if we can add $10,000 to that in fast money. If not, it'll be $5 for every point that is earned. All right. We've got the time on the clock. I'm our first player. Good luck. The clock won't start until I finish reading the first question. All right. Here we go. Name someone or something that will always be associated with the days of disco. Uh... Disco ball. Name something to help you through a lonely night. A book. Name one word that describes the sound of a bell. Ring. Lawyer. All right. Let's, Let's check the board, the board and see how well I have done. Name someone or something that will always be associated with the days of disco. And I said, a disco ball. Survey said, three. Well, we're on the board. We're on the board anyway. Something to help you through a lonely night. And I said, a book survey said 41. All right, that's more like it. I said, ring. Survey said 18. We're up to 62. I said, a cat. Survey said 39. All right, we're more than halfway. And I said, a lawyer. Survey said, 11. All right, well, we did pretty good there. 112 points, we just need 88. Same five questions, looking for the most popular answers. Can't duplicate. The clock won't start until I finish the first question. Good luck. Uh, okay. Name someone or something that will always be associated with the days of Disney. Uh, Afro. Afro hair. There we go. Name something to help you through a lonely night. Uh, what? TV. Name one word that describes the sound of a bell. Uh, ding. Name a pet you might have several of. Dog. Name an occupation in which it's important to dress well. Uh, how about a teacher? Uh, 
All right, let's see how we did there. Let's see how you did. Name someone or something that will always be associated with the days of disco. And I said Afro hair. Survey said zero. Ooh. All right. Name something to help you through a lonely night. And I said TV. Survey said 27. Book was number one. All right, 61 points. Sound of a bell. I said ding. Survey said 36. All right. We need 25 more points. I said dog. Survey said 16. All right. Almost there. I s did nine people say teacher? No, no one did. Oh, we almost got there. Almost. Well, five dollars a point, nine hundred fifty-five dollars plus the four eighteen from up front is one thousand three seventy-three. We'll see you for the next segment.